do on a pagan flat. Shouts, shouts out my batch, they pop main rolls and tape up flats. Still gotta do it in dash, still put corn in dirty whaps. I splash, that's facts. Don't try run, bro, slap that twat. Back smoke and dump it, run man down and splash, I love it. Splash, I love it. Fiji splash, my broski does it. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Odie, back with another One Piece Awakening video. And I know you see what that says up there. Yes sir. Level 450, I'm finally max level. This took me way longer than it should have mostly because I'm super lazy and I get very unmotivated very quickly. Um, basically, I'm just gonna be showing you guys and teaching you guys how I got max level. Now, I know the title says quick and I just said it took me a while. To be honest, it took a week only because I wasn't playing the game that much. Like I, the only reason I play this game is to like upload like upload videos and to find fruits and stuff like that. I never really spent time to just like grind in this game. But if all the time I spent grinding in total, it's less than 15 hours, I don't know. I don't, I, just an estimate. But if you guys just stick to it, literally the only two things you need in this game to get max level is time and dedication. Like honestly, it's not that hard to get max level. Only 450 levels, you know? That's like only 450 quests or more than that. If you if you're just starting off this game, you're gonna what first things you're gonna want to do is get this mission right here and just try your best to just kill all these bandits with your combat moveset. Okay, kill all the bandits, get the quests up, get three thousand dollars until you have enough, or is it three thousand dollars? Yeah, three thousand dollars until you have enough for the katana. And once you have the katana, you just gotta go crazy on these kids. You, the katana does more damage, so start focusing on your sword stat for a little bit, just for now. And just, just, destroy, just destroy the kids, okay? And after you've done that for a while, you might be level 15 before you get, like, I think it's 6k. Yeah, until you get 5k, 5k for the pistol. I would wait till you're, like, level 15, even if you do have 5k already, to get it, because you're not really gonna need the pistol for this place until you get to the next island, the bear island. Don't, like, use your stats on it or anything. Just make sure you have it ready for when you're on the next island. So once you get to the bear island, your first quest you'll get is to kill a bunch of bears. You got to defeat seven bears. Now, the way that I found was easiest to do the bears was to just use your pistol, your flintlock, gather all the bears up, just like this. Shoot out all the bears, and then just take them out with your katana moose sets. And gain, like, I think 15k with doing these quests gain 15k and then you're gonna want to come over here and come down this temple where you will find another store where you can buy the kiku for 15,000 don't don't worry about this if you're just trying to grind and level up you really don't need this I don't even know why people buy that to be honest I might just I might just buy that for no reason actually I was on a bazooka after you've used your your new sword you've been leveling up for a bit you can and you've gotten to level I think 35 you can come over here and do these missions because the bear missions won't do you any good anymore. So you're going to have to focus on boss missions. So once you defeat the boss, I highly, I highly rec like recommend using a private server for this because the boss will spawn every minute instead of every five minutes. Remember, always use a private server if you have one. So once you've got to level 60, you're able to leave this island and go to the next island. Which is where you can start um, grinding your levels. Once you get to the Black Cats, you're going to want to just do the exact same thing as you've been doing on the other islands. Start off grinding all the people, you know, doing the 10, kill 10 Black Cats quests. Until you have 40,000, if you don't already have it. Buy the double sword, upgrade your sword strength. And when you get here, here's when I would start wanting to look for Devil Fruit. Here's when you have to start waiting for the server age to re reach 45 to 60 minutes and start looking for devil fruits to try to get you stronger because after this you're going to need more than just swords to defeat bad guys really quickly but when you get to this island you're going to want to fix if you're on a private server this is what you're going to want to do you want to you're going to want to just focus on the kuro just focus on the kuro missions like there's no point really even doing these missions if you're able to do it on a private server and if you're not able to do it on a private server you can go to kuro and then go back to the black cats and do the bear mission and kill the bear king real quick because that's actually the bear king mission gives you more xp than the black than the killing 10 black cats 
and it'll save you time because it takes like two minutes to get back to the bears over there but it takes five minutes for uh kuro to spawn if you just sit here waiting now i'm gonna skip buggy island all you really gonna want to do is the same thing you've been doing on the rest of the islands once you make it to the ice uh, and if you don't have a private server uh, this is what I recommend you doing because most of the time ice is usually like the most populated place People who play the game mediocrely not to grind it all the time This is where most people are at and people literally come to this island only to just kill this yeti all the time And you might not be able to kill him every single time he spawns like you want to So if you can't do that, all you got to do is gather up all the NPCs with your f pistol I would I, I would have my pistol, but I kind of got rid of it try not getting hit if you have Ken use it and just, just do the same, just take them all out at once using the same moves, it saves it saves time instead of spamming moves on one NPC every single time. And obviously you won't be as strong as me because you know, <laughs> you know, max level. But but if you do have if you do have a private server, just skip all just skip all that. Don't even worry about over them over there. Literally just come over here, kill the Yeti. That's all you gotta do, just kill the Yeti. Because he spawns every minute. So you're gonna get a bunch of XP from that. So if you have a private server, what you're gonna want to do is not you're gonna you're gonna do only the bosses of the last few islands. Like there's literally no point doing those missions if you have a VIP server. You you stay you stay here at the at the snow and you grind the Yeti until you're level 300. Yes. So when you get to level 210 and you're able to kill the Yeti, you're gonna have to grind at 90 levels until you're able to fight Crocodile over here. So when you are able to kill crocodile and you're level 300 so you're gonna have to sit tight here for a while you're gonna have to be i think it's level 390 so you have to grind another 90 levels with the boss until you're able to use the boss at arlong park arlong and remember if you don't have a private server you're just gonna have to grind i don't know 100 and something levels with the little minions over there but I highly suggest getting a VIP server. Like you don't have to pay Robux for VIP servers. You can easily search on Google for VIP servers. Like there's many free VIP servers out there. You can you can check. Like even if you don't have one, you can simply check. I don't I don't even have one. I don't think. I just have a friend who has one, and I have a bunch of VIP server links. Like, let me know in the comments if you need a link. I I can hook you guys up. So when you come to Arlong Park, you come here at level 380. Blah blah blah. You kill Arlong. You know. You know, you know what's next. You know what I'm gonna say. I don't have to repeat it every time. Literally, that's all you gotta do. Just sit here and grind. Like, there's no other way. I don't know why you came to this video. Like, did you come to this video thinking there was some hack to get to get max quickly? No. You literally have to sit there and just grind. That is it. That is literally it. All I did was show you guys faster ways to grind or ways that help me grind easier. Like, and grinding like this using only the bosses is quite easier for me to be honest. It's less boring because I can kill the boss. Go on my phone, scroll through Instagram for a minute, I'll look back up, the boss will be back, and I'll just get the quest, kill him again. Quick 90k XP. All you really need in this game is time, patience, and dedication. Speaking of max level, I'm going to be trying to help my MBGM boys, E-Ray and Itwali, to get max level tomorrow. I'm going to post a video on that. Uh, I'm going to be teaching them how to, how, to, how to train quick like me, you know? Get them in the, in the grinding spirit and... I might even like, you know, troll them a bit or something. You never know. But uh, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. MM Mizza, back off my thing, who's Rilla? His chest hot step or dinger. Silence gang, dot dot or chinger. Riding, stroll with a four was dinner. Everyone got to for a nigga. Yeah, this, yeah, that here, river. I love life when they don't know nothing. Late night junkie, I run into Skrilla. His gun don't bun, he a driller. He ain't undone, undone, nigga.